Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In this episode, I wanted to show you guys my travel nail routine. I'm going to Orlando this weekend for Mother's Day so I can be with all of the mothers that are there that happen to be in my life and I want to make sure that my nails are safe for those three days since I can't bring all of my stuff and my vanity with me. The first thing I do when I travel for a couple of days and I can't bring my stuff with me is I coat my nails with clear gel polish. I did two layers of the Orly Easy Off base coat and two layers of the Clavu top coat. That's just to thicken my nail and make it a little bit more sturdy for, you know, whenever, whatever I'm going to be doing out there. Probably just a lot of eating Chinese food. That's, those are my plans with my mom. We're going to watch movies and eat Chinese food. And uh, the next thing I do is I prepare my water marbles. I usually always water marble if I'm going to go to Orlando because I would only go for like a couple of days. And I don't really need to bring all of my nail stuff even though I want to. And so to do my water marbles, I always pick colors that are similar to what I'm going to be wearing or the colors I can't get over at the moment, which happen to be the St. Clair by Kale Polish. Um, I think it's Never Nude or Always Nude or Two Shades of Nude by Sally Henson and my Cirque Colors Halcyon, which is my absolute favorite rose gold and I can never get enough of it. doesn't matter what time of year it is, it's my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my nails white with my Sally Henson white on. And once that is dry and my decals have dried, I take them out of the water and I am taking off any drops of water that is on the back of them. Because if you don't, you can get little watery bumps underneath your decal, which, you know, aren't the most attractive thing. So make sure to get all the water off. Now I'm using a cuticle pusher to cut off the excess. And yes, I did put clear nail polish on to stick the decals. I don't care how many coats of nail polish I put on right now because like I said, um, while I'm out of town, I want my nails to be protected and strong. Not like, you know, a hundred coats of nail polish strong, but there's like six coats of nail polish going on. And there's a specific reason as to why I use water marbles when I go out of town like this. Um, I do the water marble decal always, and I make sure to put clear nail polish underneath my free edge before I apply the decal. This is so that when I am folding this D, this free edge under, I can go ahead and melt it with a bit of acetone to the clear nail polish, and it makes a sort of shield so that my free edge is nice and protected. Now I know the decals look wrinkly and they don't look as smooth and nice as other people's, but my Bundle Monster Speed Dry Top Coat, which I think is the best top coat around, is perfect for this. The leveling agents in it are amazing. It just fills in all of the cracks and divots and fissures on the nail polish and just makes it a smooth, glassy surface. It's so beautiful and I love the way it feels afterward. I always do two coats the night I paint my nails and then two coats in the morning. So whenever I go out of town, I always make sure I have cuticle oil with me. And when I was at Walmart buying some other stuff, I saw that ProFX had just come out with these new scented cuticle oils. And it was in a cute box, and it had flowers floating in it, and it smelled like lavender, which I love. So of course I shelled out $5.97 to try it out. And it turns out that it's a rollerball, and the rollerball kind of bites. But I will still be taking it with me this weekend. Maybe it's because it's new. The rollerball doesn't, you know, roll around as much as it needs to yet. We'll see what happens. I may have just bought it because it's pretty. Go oh, no. out. And um, I like to do a nice moisturizing, softening glove thing before I leave as well. Because I do wash my hands a lot. I'm sort of obsessive about it. I used to be a dental assistant. And that kind of got me washing my hands way too many times a day. So um, I found these gloves at Walmart in their mask package aisle. They always have really cool masks for like 2 to $3. And I don't like doing the overnight gloves because I just don't like having wet things on my hands while I sleep. And I saw these and it said they were 15 to 20 minutes. I said, let's try it out. It could be really great. Let me tell you, it was like really bad for me. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, it's good for your hands, but I didn't like it because it was like all ugh, sticky and hot. 
But anyways, guys, that is my traveling routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Also, thank you so much for getting me to 200 subscribers. You guys are the best. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.